Hi guys, it's Jenny, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I am so so excited to film. So I recently, finally managed to get my hands on the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation and when it came in the post I thought why not do a first impressions review on it because um, I don't really do many of those on my channel, um, especially with foundation, and I really wanted to do it for this foundation. I know that pretty much everybody has done a review on this foundation already because it's been out for months and months and months now. So many people even included it in their 2017 favourites video. Um, however, I have not tried it because um, what I thought would be my perfect shade has been out of stock on cult beauty for literally months like ever since they launched the foundation it just like all went out of stock um so they restocked my shade like a few days ago and so i ordered it straight away and now i have it and so yeah i'm gonna do a review video on it so i'm sorry if you've seen this video a thousand times already but i don't know maybe I'll say something different in this one, I don't know, probably not. So yeah, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and let's just get on with the video. So before we get into applying the foundation, I'm just gonna quickly talk about my skin. Um, so I have, I'd say like combination skin around my nose and like cheek area and my chin can get very very oily but then the rest of my face is pretty much normal um, and then I do get dry patches um, randomly throughout the year usually in winter in the colder months I'll get like random dry patches on my face I have pretty large pores around my nose and I also have spots acne whatever you like to call it um, mainly hormonal now that I've kind of grown up but I do have a lot of acne scars on my skin um so yeah that's pretty much my skin for you you can see at the moment I have a lot of blemishes and redness on my face that needs covering up so yes it's going to be a good test on the coverage for this foundation so this is what it looks like I'm sure you have all seen it before but in case you haven't this is what it looks like it is a plastic bottle um and then it just has a pump um i'm not like majorly fussed about whether whether a foundation bottle is plastic or glass because honestly i don't travel a hell of a lot and when i do i don't know i've never ever ever touch wood had a, found a, a glass foundation bottle smash whilst I've been travelling um, so yeah I don't really have an issue but I guess that it is good that it is plastic so you can take it travelling with you and not worry about it at all. I already have my eyebrows done I'm gonna apply some primer I'm just gonna use the primer that I pretty much always use I'm actually running out of this so I haven't used it in quite a while but this is just the NYX pore filler primer. I've seen um, in a lot of reviews some people do like half their fa face with primer on um, and then others just use primer or don't use primer. For me when I'm testing out a new foundation I like to just use the primer that I've been using a lot at that time because you know if it's not going to work with a primer that I really like and really love then I don't really think it's a good foundation to be honest. So that's the primer on. Um, I guess I'm just going to zoom you guys in. Um, okay so I am going to apply it with a damp sponge. This is just one by Real Techniques. It's the one that I always use and I apply pretty much all of my foundations with a damp sponge. I do have some that I find just apply better with a brush but I prefer to use a sponge. So that's what I'm going to do with this one because I have heard that it's a little bit thicker and I have um, put like a tiny bit on the back of my hand just to swatch it and see what it feels like and it was um, on the thicker side of foundation so I don't know we'll start off by with that much that was like a pump and a half and then I'm just going to do what I always do when I apply foundation oh it's not like as thick as I thought it's running so that's good I don't really like a really thick 
foundation because they tend to be really heavy on my face so this is what I pretty much always do when applying my foundation I just dot it on my face is it oh it has a slight smell I don't really know how to describe it it's kind of like sweet and floral but there is like a slight smell to it so if you're really sensitive to scented um, stuff um, yeah just bear that in mind oh by the way I didn't even tell you my shade I have the shade creme brulee let's give this a go shall we I'm nervous So that blended out really easily. I think I did pretty well with the um, shade. It's a pretty nice shade for me. I think as well with concealer and bronzer on, um, it will probably be pretty much perfect. But yeah, that first bit blended out really well. And it's pretty good coverage already. It's not as like full coverage as I was expecting it to be, like right off the bat. I was expecting it to be like really, really like, oh my goodness, full coverage. But I can still see redness from like blemishes peeking through. It's kind of like weirding me out though how much it like smells. <laughs> like it's really really scented. It's not an unpleasant smell it just kind of smells like... Oh, I can't... It smells like something but I can't describe what. Like. It's very sweet, kind of like florally, but I don't know, at the moment it's not really like annoying me that much, but it's also like at the same time I'd rather it just be like unscented. Okay, so that like pump and a half did um, my whole face. I look very yellow right now, but I think once I've got concealer on and everything I should look a bit less Simpson-like. So the smell has gone away, I can't smell it. You could, when you're blending it out, you could smell it like really, really well. Um, I do want to add a little bit more onto the areas I have blemishes. Usually I would just leave it at this, but I want to see how full coverage it can go. So that's like literally not even half a pump that I've added on there. And I'm just going to dip my sponge into it, give it a go. I honestly like never even do this with my foundation like I will pretty much never build foundation up on top of the on top of it just because I don't like how it looks like I feel like it looks kind of cakey when I do it um so it does look pretty nice on my skin it looks slightly heavy like on my top lip it does look uh, pretty like cakey but to be honest most foundations do on my top lip um, as well as my chin that's where they kind of struggle in terms of the coverage it doesn't look super super full coverage I wouldn't like I watched pretty much every review on this foundation because it was a lot of money it was 32 pounds that's a lot of money for me to spend on foundation so I did watch a lot of reviews before I like made my mind up that I was gonna buy it um, and in every review I saw it was like oh my goodness this foundation is like so full coverage it can cover up anything I still have some blemishes that are peeking through and I know I can probably just go in with more foundation but yeah I just don't like doing that um, I also always hate applying loads of foundation to my forehead because it just it cakes up so much on my forehead like I don't know why I wouldn't say my skin looks amazing right now um kind of doesn't <laughs> it doesn't look like really amazing but my skin's really bad at the moment so I'm kind of trying it at like the worst my skin is gonna be in like a single month this is the worst it's going to be. I think once my skin gets a little bit better, it will probably look 
better on my skin. Anyway, I want to go ahead and apply my concealer just to see how it looks on top of the foundation. So I'm just going to go in with my Colourpop concealer. Um, this is what I've been using a lot recently. Okay, so that concealer applied perfectly fine, perfectly normal under my eyes. Okay, so I did just quickly go ahead and add some of the collection concealer just to any blemishes and that went on perfectly fine too, just like normal. Um, so I am going to set this foundation because I always set my foundation. Uh, it, does, it feels kind of tacky at the moment but not too bad actually but yeah I always set my foundation so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna use the Rimmel Stay Matte like normal okay so my face is completely set um yeah it looks pretty much normal like any other foundation does on my skin yeah nothing much to say there it still yeah it feels set but not like it doesn't feel completely matte but like it does look not like really really matte like dry matte but I don't know it's a nice finish I think anyway I am going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then I will get back to you at the end okay so I've just finished the rest of my makeup and um, everything applied really really well like my bronzer and my blush applied really well I stupidly used the uh, like Colourpop super shock highlighter um, I honestly don't know why I used it because I like rarely use that because I just can't figure out a good way to apply it without it looking really weird on top of my foundation and powder. That's why maybe this area looks a bit weird. It's not the foundation's fault, it li it's the, the highlight. It literally does it on top of every foundation that I use. So let me just zoom you in to show you what my skin looks like. So this is what it looks like right now, um, I think it looks pretty good, I mean even like around my nose, yeah it looks pretty much, pretty much normal to be honest, like this is what every foundation looks like on my skin. So it's been about I'd say like, ooh like 50 minutes since I applied the foundation, um, I'm gonna leave this on for as long as possible. Um, and then I'm going to film my final thoughts on the foundation um, because I'm really intrigued to see how it wears throughout the day. Um, so yeah, I will get back to you in a few hours with my final thoughts. So it has been around about four hours, a little bit over, since I have applied the foundation. And I thought I would share with you my final thoughts on the foundation because honestly... I'm not doing anything today and I really just want to take off my makeup um, so yeah let's have a look at what my skin actually looks like um, so it's gone a little bit oily around my nose but doesn't feel too oily um, but all in all it looks pretty good it looks pretty much the same um, to what it did when I applied it which is really really good everything that I've put on top of it so like my bronzer highlight and blush um, still looks really good it's still all there my chin doesn't look too bad my chin is usually the place um, where my foundation comes off first I don't know why but yeah my foundation always comes off of my chin first which is really really weird um, it's still there which is good um, but it has kind of, I don't know, it looks a bit like caked up and I have a few blemishes on there so it's kind of clung to those a little bit but honestly that's normal for my foundations. Yeah, they all do that so I was kind of expecting it to do that but this is just a close up of what my skin looks like. You can see it's kind of come off around by my nose only because I've been blowing my nose. I blow my nose about the day so... Um, it will rub off a little bit there, but yeah, it still looks, my dog's barking, ignore that, um, but yeah, it still looks pretty good 
and intact so I'm impressed with that okay so with that all said that is the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know if you want me to do more of these types of videos where I can test out some more um, foundations because I am on the lookout for some new foundations to try out so yeah let me know if you want me to do more of these I would love to don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and of course subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already and I hope you're having a lovely week and I will see you in my next video bye guys